Hello again, as you know, I'm Eli the Computer Guy over here for Everyman IT, and today's class is creating WordPress, Joomla, and Drupal templates with Art I Steer. Now, if you've come across a WordPress or Drupal or Joomla, you know these are about the greatest thing since sliced bread for creating new websites and content management systems. They're very powerful, they're very robust for what they do, they're fairly easy to use, and best of all, they're free. They, they are open source. So you've gone out, you figured out how to administer uh, you know, Drupal or WordPress or Joomla. You've gone out, you found all the plugins or modules you want to add in uh, to, to, to one of these pieces of software. The last thing that you come to is how do you make your site look pretty? So you're sitting looking at your Drupal site or your WordPress site or your Joomla site and you're thinking how do I change the background color? How do I change the font size? How do I change how many columns there are, etc. Well, the first way that you can change uh, all of this is by hand coding the CSS for your site. In order to do this, you have to understand CSS and HTML programming, and you go in there and you actually hand code everything, either in Dreamweaver or, God help you, uh, with Notepad. Now, most people don't want to do this. This is very hard to do, and this is very, very complicated uh, to do. So the next thing you can do is you can go out and you can look for templates that are available online. So people have created a lot of templates and themes for WordPress and Joomla and, and, and Drupal that you can go out and you can download either for a small fee or, or, or for free. The only thing with this is that again you're stuck with whatever theme or template you find. So uh, so 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 whatever you have is basically what you're stuck with. You, you can't edit it, you can't make any changes. Another problem with these free themes or even the ones you pay for is that they are not always completely compliant with Drupal or Joomla or WordPress. I had this problem when I started using WordPress using free themes uh, that I downloaded because uh, when I would go to do things like use submenus, the submenus uh, would not work properly. And the reason was was because whoever coded that theme uh, didn't do it properly. So submenus didn't work. So basically, uh, you know, so far, you know, you've decided, let's say you want to use WordPress and you can either hand code a theme which you probably don't want to do or you can use a free, you know one of these these themes you download from somebody else which again you have the problem of of you you can't really edit and there may be maybe issues well the third thing you can do is you can use a piece of software called art i steer art i steer is an incredibly incredibly easy to use a graphical piece of software that allows you to create themes and templates in literally in minutes, uh, you 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 can you can start and, and have a theme uploaded to your WordPress site literally in 15 minutes uh, if that's what you want to do. Art I Steer is incredibly easy to use. It's 100% compliant. So when you create themes and templates using Art I Steer, everything will work properly. Menus will work properly. Submenus will work properly. Everything will look how it's supposed to look if you use Art I Steer. So this class today is going to be about creating WordPress, Joomla, and Drupal templates and themes with Art I Steer. It is very easy to do, so this is going to be a very short class. Let me get a couple of things together and then we'll dive in. So using Art I Steer is very easy. Like I say, this is a, this is a graphical piece of software. It's WYSIWYG. You just you just click on things and change things and then export everything. You know, it's really easy. You don't need to know HTML programming. You don't need to know CSS programming or PHP or ASP or any of that garbage. The, all of this is is point and click and export. Uh, it is really easy to use. Now I will warn you. I know if you're using WordPress or Drupal or Joomla, you may be one of those really cheap people. People that doesn't want to spend any money on anything, Art I Steer does cost money. Uh, their basic version is $50, or their more advanced version is $130 approximately, but it is well worth the money. Art I Steer is incredibly easy to use. Um, it's just a wonderful piece of software, as, as I'll show you in a minute. It, it's just it. It's, it's just good. If, if, if you're going to be creating WordPress sites or Drupal sites or Joomla sites. 
by Art Eyes Tier. So as I'll show you in a minute, uh, basically all you do is you open up Art Eyes Tier and, and, and then you, 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 you modify your theme uh, as, you, as, as you want. Uh, when you get done modifying the theme, then you hit export. You export that theme as a folder and then all you have to do is then you upload that theme or template to the theme or template folder in your Joomla or Drupal or WordPress site and then you activate it. It is really that simple. So all you have to do is you, you start Art Eye Steer, you modify the file, you export it, you upload, you activate, uh, and it's all done. The one warning that I am going to give you with this is you cannot open exported templates or themes with Artisteer. Artisteer will only open up its own Artisteer of file format. So this is something, you know, if, if you have a theme or template that you're already using and you want to modify it, you cannot open that up uh, with Artisteer. Um, you know, you'll just kind of have to have to start from square one. But uh, but now that I've kind of given given you an overview of how this works, let's let's go over. I'll give you a demonstration of it on the computer and show you how easy this is. So here we are uh, on my computer, and so we've got the Art Eye Steer icon here. So to start Art Eye Steer, you know, you just double click it. And then uh, when Art Eye Steer opens up, it will ask you what kind of template you want to create. Uh, so, you know, I've been talking about Drupal, WordPress, and Joomla. It actually does give you options for Blogger, .NET Nuke, HTML, CSS, ASP, etc. If you start playing around with these other things, I think it gets a little too complicated. I would say just use Art Steer for, again, WordPress, Joomla, and Drupal. I think that's easiest. So, uh, so let's say we're going to create a WordPress site. So we just click on WordPress here. Now, uh, in the, 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 the upper portion of the screen, uh, this is, this is uh, all the things we can do to our template. And then in the bottom, we have a live preview of, of what the template is going to look like. So, uh, you know, if we go over, let's say, to colors and fonts, we can change the theme colors of this entire template. So we come down and we say, let's say, simple. By clicking that, we see we have now changed all the theme colors uh, for this template. Or we can adjust the uh, specific ones. So we click that, and now these little menu bars are yellow. We can uh, change font sets, typography, font scale, etc. We can go over to layout. So under layout, this is where you can choose uh, how many columns you have and where the header and menu bar are. So you know, if we want three columns, we can just select columns, and we can say we want three columns. And now we have three columns. Or we can say we want three columns with two on the right-hand side. And now two are on the right-hand side. Or we can say we don't uh, want any columns. And now there are no columns. It is that simple to add or subtract uh, columns. Then page layout. As you can see, the header is on top. Then we've got the menu bar. Then we've got the content. Let's say we wanted to put the, the menu bar on top. Now the menu is up here, and then the header, and then the content. Or let's say we just want the header, we don't want a menu bar. That's all you have to do uh, to make changes in Art Eye Steer. We can come over here to background. Now if you look down at the bottom, you see we've got all these uh, palm trees in the background. If we want to change that, we just come to this background, and uh, I don't know, we say we want grass. And so now we have grass. See, look down here, we have grass in the background. We have the sheet. Uh, th this is how big or wide the sheet is, off, uh, offset and such. You have header. So, uh, so you know, you've got this pattern in the header right now. We can try to change. So now we've got a little, little swirly pattern there. We can change the picture. So now we've got a picture in the header. Uh, we can go to menus. So the menu bar right now, uh, this is how the menu bar looks. We can go and we can change the menu bar. So now this is how the menu bar looks. Or we can go down and we can create little circly things. So this is how the menu bar looks. And then we have articles, blocks, buttons, footer, etc. So I'm not going to show you every single setting in here. Uh, Art Eye Steer is one of those things, you know, you just, it's very, very, very easy to use. It's very intuitive. So, it's, you know, just, just open it up and, and, and play with it. Then uh, when you get done, uh, you know, modifying uh, your theme or your template, uh, however you like, then all you do is you come up here to the export button. Uh, you know, this will now export the template. So we say, uh, test a template for WordPress. So we are going to, to export this test uh, template for WordPress. We can either export it as a folder or as a zip archive. I'll just say folder and we'll go to the desktop. We hit export. And now, 
If we minimize, we can go over, and now we see this is the folder for this test template for WordPress. We open this up, we now see all of the files that are required uh, for this template. Now the big thing uh, that I want you to remember is that Steer cannot open up a template file once it has been exported. Once it has been exported into this format, Steer is not able to open this up. Steer is only able to open and modify its own type of files. So if, you, if, you're, if you're going to want to modify this template in the future, make sure to save it. Uh, and when you save it, ARTX file, so we bring that over here. And so this is the file that you will have to, to open up if you want to modify uh, this theme. So we can just double click on this and it will reopen uh, th this template here. So just remember, you cannot open the template files once you've exported it. You can only open uh, the .artx file. Now, uh, if you're going along and you create a theme that you really like and you would like to, to use it for, let's say, a Drupal or a Joomla um, site, you know, you've created this for WordPress, but you want to export it to Joomla, all you do is on this Ideas tab, you come over here to Template, and then you select Joomla. Now you can export it as a Joomla template. See, so export Joomla template. So that's it. Ardi Steer, like I say, is incredibly easy to use. Uh, you know, at the price point of either $50 or $130, I really don't think you can do wrong, go wrong. So, uh, so with that, let's go back out to the real world and have some final thoughts. So that's all there is uh, to using Ardi Steer for creating templates or themes for WordPress, Joomla, or Drupal. Um, you know, this is really short. What, this whole class is, is less than 15 minutes. And it is that easy. You, like I say, you don't need to know CSS, you don't need to know PHP or HTML or any of that. You just, you just click through, create your template, upload your template, activate your template, and you're done. Uh, it's really that simple. Like I say, I know some of you guys, you know, are really cheap. You don't want to pay any money for anything, but I swear to God, this is one of those things that you should just spend the money on. You know, you get to use WordPress for free. You get to use Joomla or, or Drupal for free. Spend a few bucks on Artist Tier. It is the best piece of software out there. Um, and also, I have not seen any good competition to Artist Tier. Uh, you can use Dreamweaver, I suppose, but again, you're gonna have to under learn Dreamweaver and pay $500 for Dreamweaver, and it gets all really complicated. But just a nice, simple, easy to use piece of software that creates themes and templates, I have not seen any competition uh, to Artist Tier. It's just, it's an incredibly good product, it's an incredibly good price point, and you saw how easy it is to use. Um, you know, from a business standpoint, uh, when, when I had Eli the computer guy running, uh, we would create websites with Artisteer and WordPress and be able to sell them for $1,000 a piece very easily. You know, you, you, you create a, th a, a theme in about an hour, you set up a WordPress site in an hour or two, you dump in some information, you know, for, for anywhere between two to five hours of work, you, you, you can legitimately bill out $1,000 uh, to put a site up. Like I say, Artist Year really does, it creates professional quality sites. These, these sites look really good. They're not gonna look cheesy, they're not gonna look crappy, they're going to look a plus professional, you know, as long as you, you put the time and effort uh, to make them look professional. So that was a class on creating WordPress, Joomla, and Drupal templates uh, and themes with Artist here. As you know, I'm Eli the Computer Guy over here for Every Man IT, and I look forward to seeing you at the next class.